Welcome to Lifted Up Ministries with me, Charles. I'm no pastor, I'm no nothing. This is Lifted Up Ministries on the same page, same channel, YouTube channel that I'm posting on. This is my Queen's channel. So be shades, subscribe, like, comment, like. So this is the new face you're going to, you're going to start seeing for now. Without any waste of time, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14 and 15. Stand your ground, stand your ground, put on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. It does not matter where the enemy comes from. It does not matter what direction does the enemy is trying to attack you. Because we know when the enemy raises the standard, we have an advocate. We have a general who works on our behalf, who is the Holy Spirit, the one who reveals the truth unto us. That is why it is important for us to be able to let the Holy Spirit lead us in everything that we do. Because the Holy Spirit, whenever the enemy brings his evil things to try to attack us, whenever even his arch demons try to attack us, the Holy Spirit is always ready for battle to stand against those things because he stands with us as we are the children of the living God. Because the enemy cannot do anything to us. That's why Paul here says, stand your ground do not let the enemy try to shake you from the ground that you are in the ground that you are in that's where you're supposed to be worshiping God I know the situation seems hard I know the problem seems like they are multiplying but they are not multiplying the enemy wants you to think that they are multiplying can i fix my mic the enemy wants you to think that the problems are multiplying while well, the problems are not multiplying because when those problems seems to be multiplying that is when god is doing something because he knows your breakthrough is in the midst of those problems so there is no issue that should make you feel like god is far away from you god is near you whenever you are going through the most Stand your ground. Put on the belt of truth. Put on the belt of truth. This belt, you need to put it on. Regardless how hard it is, your truth needs to be your truth. Speak the truth. Even when the enemy is trying to manipulate you to do things that you do not want to do, stick to the truth, to the truth. Stick to the truth. I know most people don't like people who are honest, but stick to your truth. Put on this belt of truth, because once you speak truth, even the enemy will be confused. People are used to liars. If you are not a liar, it even makes people not be able to find fault in you because you speak the truth because your waist has the belt of truth. Put on this belt. I know in South Africa right now, we are going through situations where we have to buy ourselves through in certain things. Where we have to do certain things that we do not like doing. But stand on your truth. Because you have the belt of truth. You have the belt of truth. And it says, And the body armor of God's righteousness. You see, God has given us righteousness yes we have problems we have situations that make us think that we are not righteous or we are not in the right standing with god but god has given us grace in the midst of all those things you see some of the things should not move you away from god the temptations that you face should not move you away from god 
Because when God looks at when because when God looks at you, He still sees His righteousness, the spirit of righteousness that is within you. Yes, there and there you fall, but you have God's righteousness. Do not let the enemy trick you and tell you you are not righteous. He just wants to attack you. Lift it up, ministry. Subscribe, comment, like, do whatever that you got. You gotta do. Charles, lift it up, ministries. Amen.